My name is Rajat Goel and I am the co-founder and CEO of IQ Vision Private Limited. We started this company in 2007. Uh, the objective of this company was to create world-class affordable eye care hospitals in district headquarters. Uh, the, the objective was uh, to provide world-class eye care as the healthcare was not available in smaller cities and uh, it looked like a great opportunity which had social impact. Also uh, apart from that it is also a viable proposition from profitable perspective. <clears throat> so uh, in the last six years we have now 20 hospitals. The idea is to take this to 100 hospitals by 2015. Um, initially three years the journey was primarily to set up processes, look at uh, how do you get quality out of system, um, get re recruitment engine going and uh, to get right quality brand word of mouth. Uh, however, in the last two years we have really scaled up and uh, while in this journey <coughs> we got uh, capital from private equity and banks. We have already had two rounds of private equity uh, and uh, capital from banks uh, over the last five years. So that's, that's the journey that we have taken in the last six years. Uh, initially the infrastructure was not very well developed. Fortunately in the last five years India has taken right strides and today infrastructure for uh, for these kinds of hospitals apart from that infrastructure for if we get doctors from other places like Delhi etc. Infrastructure for them to stay, infrastructure for them to you know uh, recreate when they want to recreate in, uh, for them for their kids to go to school has now started coming in which is which is helping us to attract good talent. So there were a lot of innovations were done uh, to make the model affordable and relevant in smaller cities. Uh, so that was the first phase. The second phase was then to create right processes so that as we grow fast the um, the you know the quality is not compromised. That's the biggest one in, in health. So therefore next one and a half years was spent in writing right quality um, documentation and also implementation of that. We were in fact one of the first one to start digital um, software in the co country uh, wherein all our electronic medical record uh, for the last four years are in the software so uh, so therefore that has given us access to a lot of high level data analytics which have helped us in looking at uh, our, our overall profile of our patients their incidence what is the right protocol that we should prescribe so that's the kind of journey we looked at we've innovated in the model today we have four to five serious players in this. So at uh, at a gross level, this looks like a 200 million dollar opportunity for each. Someone will be bigger, someone will be smaller, but that's the kind of opportunity that exists for uh, for a person to build this business till 2015. We'll be focused only in IE, that's our mandate. In India today, uh, 2000 hospitals can be created in corporate setup. Uh, if we do 100 and our competitors do around 300, there will still be gap to uh, for, for around 1500 odd hospitals. So therefore there, are, there is enough and more opportunity in I today to create a nationwide distribution network uh, and that's the opportunity that we will be leveraging going forward. So overall what we feel is that overall health infrastructure in I is getting upgraded. Uh, there are new technologies come in, surgeon infrastructure is also getting improved. So as an ecosystem, I believe it's very, very good for patients going forward. Apart from that, insurance has also started playing a good role into this. And insurance uh, uh, will, will also fuel uh, the investments in the sector as well as quality control. Ecosystem in India has become fantastic. Um, I uh, jumped into entrepreneurship six years back. So what do you require from ecosystem? First of all, you require mentorship. You require entrepreneurs who have gone through this journey to actually help you whenever, wherever you need it. So today, uh, mentorship is very readily available in the country and that too from the best of the people because they genuinely feel entrepreneurship is the way forward. Apart from that, the second thing you need is team and people around you to believe that entrepreneurship can work in India. So to give you an example, in our company today, we have 10 MBAs from the best institute like IIMs and Jamnalal Bajaj. We have seven company secretary, company, a chart accountant and company secretary working for us and we have 60 doctors who are extremely good quality competent doctors so people today have faith and confidence that if somebody is doing an entrepreneurial setup then uh, then they can put uh, their career in those which was not the case six to seven years back apart from that there is huge capital if there is a 
proven business model or there is a proof of concept then capital is there for uh, for anyone to take um, the, uh, i think the the key factor there is that proof of concept and the right team and then you can you can have capital so therefore and government is also facilitating it a lot in uh, health they have keep kept it very open they have not put many legislations so therefore they are also encouraging entrepreneurs to come in healthcare specifically today i see far more confident indians uh, in in airports than what we were five to six years back and really thinking about international uh, domain not only talk about India so therefore what has happened in the last five years or six years is that Indians have become very confident uh, there is dramatic growth in the in the country which is fueling it and uh, there is huge amount of investment which is coming from abroad so so uh, people abroad have also started recognizing the power of Indians as well as power of Indian growth that has also led to confidence so therefore a money is available B infrastructure is getting right it's still not there but I think it's getting right and C there is immense amount of confidence in self self ability which is driving India brand today government has been uh, has uh, has been aware of where they have to put money and they've kept other areas open for entrepreneurship and I think that's the biggest encouragement that we've got from government apart from that you know the overall ecosystem in terms of um, banks becoming favorable to lending to uh, healthcare uh, domains as well as private equity so net net the ecosystem which includes government banks and uh, equity uh, has been very favorable so brand India has become very important first brand India has become important from intellectual perspective uh, wherever you go you will find a lot of people who are from India working in relevant positions there apart from that brand India is important for a growing economy uh, brand India and uh, India's growth will be extremely crucial for world's growth going forward. So that's why Brand India has got a very special uh, position in uh, in world today.